Hi, I'm Russell with the Piano Outlet. I'm making a video today for Yasmin in Conroe, Texas, who this beautiful piano belongs to. And uh, the video is mainly to show how to uh, install the uh, DKC850, which is an upgrade from the original control box of this disc, disc of ear. Uh, normally speaking, the control box is located right about here on all the disc of ears. Um, but uh, in this particular case, uh, our, uh, the owner of this piano has decided that they want the control box to be on the flat side. So I had to make some modifications and uh, to make it easy for her to be able to um, install this on her piano when it arrives. Uh, maybe I'm making this little video because generally speaking, we don't really want the movers to be handling this type of equipment. If anything happens, then you know um, they're not going to be responsible. So. Really, the owner of the piano should know as much about the piano as possible. And so that's what this video is all about. The DKC850 has all the modern features of the disc of the air. Mainly, the main thing is that you can stream from the internet um, music and uh, also have your iPad or a smartphone control the uh, piano off the uh, Wi-Fi. But anyway, so the first thing that we're going to do is when the piano is unpacked and it's set up, it's going to look like this. Um, the items that are going to be attached to the piano uh, are going to be first the bracket. This is the bracket that the DK850 goes on. And if you look at it over here, these uh, screws on the side will fit in here. You see you got the screws there and uh, the screw here. But that gets done after this is actually attached to the piano. So I'm going to attach this to the piano first. Okay. So if the camera can come around the other side of the piano, let me turn this light up. Then we will install this. Now, can can uh, can you get this? Um, can you film these screws up here? Can you get this in the camera? I don't know. See, we got uh, we got two screws here um, and some wood that I placed in between the brackets that hold the power supply, and so this is going to be located just like this. If you see these two screws here, you're going to slide this back like this on those two screws, and then over here, you see over here, there's two other screws here, two other holes for screws. So I'm going to put one in here like this and then the other one in the other hole that I made okay so as you see these two slots allow you to place the bracket up I'm going to leave these screws in in shipping and then you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to tighten these Phillips head screws one two Three, four. Now this is totally sturdy. Now I'm gonna go get the unit. Okay, now on this unit, you have four screws. You have two here and two here, okay? This one you're gonna remove. Okay, so when you slide the unit with the screws into the slots in the bracket, and move it back, this hole doesn't have a slot. So you have to put the screw in with your fingers and, uh, and then you'll tighten it. You gotta kinda find the hole, find the screw hole. There it is, okay? So we're gonna tighten it. That's that. That's this, okay? And the other one, camera can stay down there. If you come around this side over here, <clears throat> I'm gonna use this tool here to get to these screws because you can't really get a screw gun in there. And so um, we'll use this here like this. And we can tighten it like this. And now the DKC850 is rock solid. 
Okay? Now, uh, the next thing we're going to do is show the connections in the back. So if the camera can go all the way to the other end, you can to the other side. I'll show you what connections that you have to make. Okay. Now, the DKC850 has its own plug. Okay? This is the power supply that came with the DKC850. I attached it here. This is the plug. Okay? And unfortunately, now, because you have a plug for the original Yamaha Disclavier and you have a plug for the DKC850, you have two plugs. So really, what you need to do is to have a wire like this. Um, if I could find a black one, I'll install it, but I might not be able to find a black one before it goes out. But uh, this is basically what you want to do. You want to plug both of these into this, into this type of extension cord with a ground, and, and hopefully if you have a black one, unless you have white walls, and then it doesn't really matter. But right now, I'm going to have it like this, and then we can... You know, I could put this up and attach it up here somewhere later, and so you don't have it hanging. But I wanted to leave it down so you could see it. Okay, so the one, the other thing that you have to attach is this. This is uh, from the uh, this is from the uh, the Disclavier Electronics, and then we have to get a little screwdriver. Let me pop up here and get it. Small Phillips head to attach this here. Okay, and then there is uh, there are two outputs for the background music, and uh, the DKC850 came with these two wires here. So you're going to connect uh, output red to red, white to white, and the like I said, these two wires here came with the unit, and then the other end gets plugged in to the auxiliary in, as you see over here. If the camera can 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 you can the camera see what's written here so they could see. See over here, it says auxiliary in. Uh, so that's so the background music gets heard. Then you could take these two wires and you just kind of shove them up in here out of the way so you don't see them. So that's that connection, okay? So you really have one connection, two connection, and then the, and then the power, which uh, the power cord is right here. DC in, 12 volts, boom, that's it. Now the unit's powered up. So now the camera will come back around and we'll show how to set this up. So now you have to configure the DKC850 and let it know the type of piano that it's going to play. So on the remote here you have to press the button that says system. You have to wait for it to, it says wait so we got to wait I guess. <laughs> All right there we go. So now we're going to press a button that says system. And then we're going to scroll by pressing this forward button. The clock adjustment you could make, uh, you could read the manual and know how to do that. Uh, but the main thing is to configure it. So I'm pressing this button here to scroll all through the menus. And right here it says piano type. So at, when it says piano type, you press the round button, which is enter. Okay? And uh, the two types are going to be replace or add. So uh, that's add or replace. We want replace because we are replacing the old unit. Uh, add is if it was an older Disclavier, if it was a Mark II, then what happens is that this actually gets connected in, in series with the old unit. But in this particular case at the Mark III, you're going to replace it. So it gets replaced, okay? And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, piano now. Uh, we're going to get it to play. So there's actually a CD in here. I already put one in. As you can see, it's a demo CD from that came with the unit. So we put that in, and we're going to close it. And now uh, there's nothing in the internal memory, but there is a CD in there. So we're going to select CD. Oh, it's reading it, so it says no media. So we have to wait for it to read it. There we go. I'm going to go into the pop section. There's different uh, playlists in here. So the, uh, I went into the pop playlist. It's got some um, nice music in there. And I'm going to go into, I'm going to play something with background music. And so you can listen to it see what the piano sounds like. Your volume control is here. And it's going to kick on any second now. Here we go.
something else, uh, I'm just going to press the forward button. I'm going to stay in the same, uh, the same uh, playlist, which is pop music. Here we got Boogie Wonderland, which is some disco. You gotta remember to press play after you choose. <laughs> tone module is, is playing inside the DKC 850. It's not real instruments. It's more like synthesizers that's playing. But uh, I'm going to go back and uh, get, go back to the um, to the uh, playlist and see if we can get some uh, maybe some piano only music on here because uh, let's see. Whoops. There we go. See, we've got Bach.